Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide. Mohammed Niaz with you. We are going to talk about Azure Virtual Network, and this is our first video in Azure Networking series. We all know about virtual network that is related to Hyper-V and VMware for us, and that is a fundamental building block of your private network in your on-premises data center. You create port group, virtual network and subnet for further isolation and you have router and firewall for further network connections and that makes the virtual machines in your data center able to talk outside your private network. Similar to this virtual network in on-premises, Azure Virtual Network is the building block of your private network in Microsoft Azure Cloud. VNet is a virtual network in Microsoft Azure. Azure provides many services like uh, Azure Storage is there, Azure Proxy, Web Application, and many other software as a services like database. So this virtual network VNet is not just limited to the virtual machine connections. It enables connectivity between the Azure resources like Azure Storage, Azure Proxy, Web Application, and other software as a service. So the virtual machines inside Microsoft Azure can communicate each other and also it can communicate with the other resources also. So understanding VNet is the basic and it is a must as it play a key role in private network, internet and hybrid connectivity between your on-premises and Azure cloud infrastructure. Scope of this video is to give you basic a fundamental idea about Azure Virtual Network. So what we're going to discuss here, technical requirements to start with the Azure Virtual Network, then how to create a virtual network in Azure. Uh, I will show you how to create it through Azure portal and also with the PowerShell. Then how to add subnet and how to uh, choose the address space and how to change the address space size also. So this is a very basic uh, knowledge that you need to start with Microsoft Azure networking. The minimum requirement to start with Microsoft Azure is an Azure subscription. So if you don't have an existing Azure subscription, no need to worry about it. You can go for a free trial that is available for one month and a $200 credit. To get a free trial, browse azure.microsoft.com. Then you can see a start free button. You will get 12 months free services and also you get a $200 credit for one month. This will help you to do POC or you can utilize it to learn Microsoft Azure. I have an existing subscription so I'm going to use it. For that go to portal.azure.com. If you are logging the first time, it may ask you to sign in with your username and password. You can use your existing subscription credentials or you can use the enrolled trial account credentials. Once you are in, you will see like this and you can see some of the Azure services. The frequent user services will be displayed here. If you didn't found virtual network here, then you can just go to the menu. Then from here, click on all services. Then just search for virtual network. Select virtual network. We're going to create a new virtual network. So for that, click on add button and create a new virtual network. First, I will explain to you what each of this field means. Then we're going to create our first virtual network in Azure. In the first field, you can give a name to identify this virtual network later when you want to connect your resources or your cloud virtual machines to this virtual network. For here, I'm going to give demo test network. Next, we have address space and subnet. I'm going to explain this together for a better understanding. So when you create a virtual network in Microsoft Azure, you need to specify a custom private IP address. By default, you see 10.1.0.0 slash 16 and you can see how much addresses available with this address space just below the field so this is the address space that you're going to specify for example let us take another favorite subnet that is 192.168.0.0 slash 16 
is my address space in Microsoft Azure. Then I can create subnets like 192.168.1.0 slash 24 for protection. I create 192.162.0 slash for testing. Then I'm going to create 192.168.3.0 slash 24 for my client desktop connections. Then again 192.168.4.0 for my guest network. So this is how you create in on-premises also. You have an address space. Then you, then you create a different subnet for segmentation. So this is what exactly we do in the Microsoft Azure networking also. You create an address space. Then you can create multiple subnets inside this virtual network. So as I mentioned in the example, I'm going to choose my favorite subnet that is 192.168.0.0 slash 16. And these are the maximum available address space that I can use here. And I have to choose my subnet also accordingly. For that, I'm going to create 192.168.1.0 slash 24. And this is going to be my production subnet. So I can identify this subnet. Then we have resource group. A resource group is a logical container in Microsoft Azure, which the resources like web apps, database, storage accounts, and virtual machines can be deployed into one resource group so that uh, you can uh, consider it as a one logical group. So I have existing resource group or I can create a new resource group. So I'm going to create a new resource group, network demo Azure, then click OK. So now this virtual network is going to logically manage under this resource group. Then we have regions that is called as locations also. Azure data center is located in different part of the world and you can see the list of countries here. So you can choose one of the location from here, for example, East US. Then when you have a virtual machine or any other resources that you want to connect it to this VNet, then you need to make sure that you select those virtual machines or you choose those virtual machines in the same location because VNet is coped to a single location or a region. Anyway, you can connect between virtual networks in different region through virtual network peering. Next, we have subscription. You can see I have multiple subscription here, which is a part of the partner network and also an MPN subscription. VNet is also scoped to a subscription. As I said, you can create multiple virtual network in one Azure subscription and one Azure region but if you want to connect but if you want to connect a virtual network between two different locations for example you have a virtual machine running at East US and you have another virtual machine running at Central US then you need virtual network peering to create a communication between those virtual machines then come to DDoS protection Microsoft offers two type of DDoS protection one is standard and basic basic is a free version with this virtual network typical subscription when you go for standard you need to pay additional amount for the protection and it provides enhanced protection we will discuss about in the coming videos anyway for your understanding ddos that is distributed denial of service what happened when there is a ddos attack the application resources become unavailable to genuine users so DDoS attack can be targeted to any endpoint that is publicly reachable through internet. So based upon the, the tier of service that you are providing with this virtual network, you can choose either basic or standard. Then we have service endpoints. So what service endpoints allow you once you enable service endpoints, it allows the virtual machines in this VNet uh, to access supported uh, Azure platform as services like uh, SQL database or storage without travel over the internet. So it means it use Azure backbone network to communicate with those uh, Azure platform as a services. So for example, I can choose here Microsoft SQL and Microsoft storage. Uh, 
uh, Cosmos DB, Microsoft Active Directory like that. Or I can choose all of it from here based upon the need you can choose it. Then we have firewall here that we will discuss in detail as a separate video. So I'm going to create it now here. So we have done with virtual network. Let us click to create virtual network. First it go for a validation. Once it get validated, we can click to create it. Now the deployment is in progress. You can see the progress of deployment from here. The deployment has completed. It took less than one minute to complete it. To open this virtual network, you can go to menu. Then from all resources, you can see demo test here. This is the one we just created. You can click on it. Then you can do further configuration from here. Let's go back to the address space again. You can see this is the address space that we have created. I'm going to add additional address space to this one. For example, 172.16.0.0 slash 24. Now I'm going to save this. So even after you create a virtual network you can add additional address space here now let us go to subnets and create more subnets for example test network i'm gonna give two here then we have some other uh, points also to select here that we will explain in the coming videos you can see there is a five Azure reserved addresses. So the first address that you can choose from this one for your virtual machine or any other resources is 192.168.2.4. Let's click OK. Now a new subnet is adding to this one. Like this, you can create additional subnet from here. Next, we will see how to do the same uh, in a PowerShell. I'm not going to explain more in this because the concept is more clear now for you. So it is easy to go through the Microsoft documentation about how to do all this with Azure PowerShell. So I will just demonstrate you how to do this. So you can open Windows PowerShell from your computer and as a first step we're going to connect it to Azure. So for that connect it to AZ account. Then here you need to sign in with your Azure credentials. Next I'm going to create a resource group for that this is the command to create a resource group once you enter you can see the resource group has provisioned successfully then in the next step I'm gonna create a virtual network now the virtual network has been created let's go back to the portal and see the virtual network from here so go to the virtual network and you can see my virtual network that we just created with PowerShell is available here. So this is how to create virtual network using PowerShell command. Below the video, you will see the reference link to QCreate PowerShell documentation from Microsoft. So that will help you if you are more interested to do all these with Azure PowerShell module. Let us summarize what we have learned in this video. So now you learned how to create an Azure virtual network and you know what are the each field that you need to fill it up to create a virtual network and what it means exactly in Azure networking. In the next video, we're going to see how to connect a virtual machine to Azure virtual network. So thank you for watching this video. Subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos and continue to watch Azure network series.